Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 12.2, and this is episode 49. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be putting in the roof slash floor for the basement, <laughs> or the floor for the first floor, whatever you want to call it. We'll be putting that in. Um, it's like 12 hours since I last recorded uh, for the game, so my brain has been slightly refreshed with some uh, much needed sleep. Uh, before I started this recording, I had to venture back to my base because I had done a little bit more research and dug around a bit. It took, took some looking, but I found exactly what it was to turn reinforced concrete into steel reinforced concrete. And I will show you that in just a wee minute. But first I want to get this all laid in. Because I am going to have to make some more rebar frames. Um, that's kind of a given. But I will show you exactly how it's done and it seems so dumb I think is the best word for it uh, <laughs> and the reason why I say that is okay you have repair tools right you have hammers you have repair tools you have nail guns they do the upgrades for you alright now just so you know we got 52 steel ingots and I made a new uh, steel pickaxe it's a 311 the other one was a yellow one but um, all right what's going on here there we go so we got 52 steel in our inventory and I haven't tried this yet so this is the first time I'm seeing it first time you're seeing it with me doing it so let's see if this works okay so we got 52 steel ingots this is a dried, reinforced concrete block. And there we go, guys. That, my friends, my minions, my fellow gamers, is a steel block. I wish I knew the stats on it. But, there we go. And we had... 52 now we have 42 so I believe that's five steel ingots per block and you must have this specific repair tool you can't use claw hammer can't use the nail gun it has to be this specific repair tool in order to make that upgrade and I am not gonna have enough steel ingots to get this done the way I want to do it but anyways, you get the idea how that works now. It's supposed to be insanely strong. And I'm just going to have to trust the wiki that that's how, it, how it's done. So right now we need to make some more rebar frames. And, oh, damn it, I forgot. I got to do it like that. Alright, so we're going to take half the stack. Make a bunch of those. And we'll take this. Make a bunch of those. One thing I'm noticing, I think it started with with 12.3, but it's definitely apparent in 12.4, is that you don't have that lag when you're crafting a lot of stuff. I don't know if they fixed it or what, but yeah, it seems to be working pretty smoothly now. So good job, fun pimps. All right, level 30. All right, so let's get this put put all in here. Um, but yeah, I had to make a trip back to base to pick up that repair tool. I, I made some uh, bacon and eggs, which I have with me. And uh, bacon and eggs doesn't make a smell, so it's probably the best food to carry with you if you have to be out in the wilds. Uh, we're going to take that block out and replace it with a wooden one, which is basically just a cork right now. 
Because that is the exact center, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, that's the exact center of the floor. Alright, so let's uh, get these all hammered in. And uh, get to building. Which one did it? Oh, okay. Wait. Ah, uh, damn it. No, 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 no. Did the wrong thing. Okay. And I can't get out of that. Ha! <laughs> I'm such a bonehead. Alright, well. Now I really stuck my foot into it. Alright, so let's just get rid of this then. We'll do it from underneath. Screw it. It's gotta be done anyway. going. Almost done. Alright, I believe that's it for that. Let's get the uh, rebar frames in these two. And shotgun isn't what's going to do it. <laughs> take the wooden block out because that's going to be our escape portal. Okay, so I believe all of that is done. Now let's get this all cemented in. Uh, we'll just move shotgun. It's pretty rudimentary stuff. Uh, yeah. Now let's um let's get the blocks out uh, the wood logs out again. And let's see which way is north. It would be that way. Alright. I don't know about you guys, but for me I try to make all my ladders on the north side of something, if I can. North or south, depending on what the situation is, but I try to do it on the north because it's not a OCD thing, it's just a way of remembering what side of the room it is. So, you know, if you get a little disoriented or lost, it, it just helps helps me find where the start of a ladder is. So if you face on the north side, you know, it just makes it a little easier. Uh, you can do whatever you please, but that's just how I do it. So we got some ladders. Put that in. Excellent. Oh, before we do that, let's take out the frame. Should be able to stand up there. And there we are. Uh, if it gets me up on the floor. There we go. So now we got to get those framed in. Make sure that those are all locked down. Alright, 
Might as well get some cement. Alrighty, we are good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so put a uh, frame there, and we will put a frame there. We will hammer that in. So now we have the four corners. We'll cement them. Now I wonder if we if they have to be dry before we can do this with it. All right, stamina cap is increased. Yeah, they have to be dry before you can reinforce them uh, with steel. So just make that mental note, and that takes like a, a couple in-game hours, I think, maybe a day. I don't know. Some of these. Have, go by pretty quick, some of them not quite. But anywho, you get the idea of how that goes. So now we'll just put in the first layer of wall. Now I am going to have to do uh, some mining, which I will most likely do... I might do a little bit of it on camera in another episode, probably the next episode, or the one after that. Uh, do a little bit m of mining, because I need to get a lot of uh, iron ore. And it's mainly for the purpose of uh, making steel. Um, the idea here is basically it will be a room three blocks high and then there will be a roof and it's going to look essentially like a pillbox or like, like you've probably seen in a uh, World War II movie of a, of a uh, concrete bunker. Except that all the parts that the zombies can touch, uh, which is pretty much going to be, you know, it's pretty much going to be the, the first two layers, I guess, two, two levels. Um, all this down here is going to be reinforced with steel. And then in here, I'm going to put in iron bars all the way around and then we'll have another layer of um, uh, reinforced concrete and then uh, a ceiling on top of that and then we're gonna have the ladder come up from here through the ceiling and at first I'm gonna just put a trap door on it and you know reinforce that but later I'm gonna do a uh, uh, a three by three uh, kind of like a tube that's going to be the pedestal for the sniper tower and uh, that'll be reinforced concrete and I'll probably even put steel on that because of uh, police spit for lack of better <laughs> better phrasing So it's going to be pretty basic looking. It's not going to be showy. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be like my stilt, the stilt type of fortress that I had in Alpha 11 with uh, Fortress Maximus, uh, which is kind of a take on uh, what Midnight Designer did in his Alpha 12 game, or Alpha 11 rather. 
Um, this here is more just a classical uh, concrete bunker. And it will have underground facilities like for you know like forges, uh, essentially a kitchen, storage areas. Um, basically, everything I have at my at the house now will be here. All right, so that's good. Now, for a little while at least, until I can get get really cracking at it, um, entrance into my base here will be through um, a trap door in a roof, which means there'll be a retractable... Oh! Shit! Well, that's no good. Um, <laughs> it'll be kind of like a retractable, um, drawbridge like I have at my main base. You know, kind of like a ramp that leads up to it and all that. And that, that'll be my entrance into here. Later on, though, I plan on digging a t on a, an escape an entrance tunnel. I don't know if I, I might have two that go in, in um, different directions. Like one might go out maybe that way, and one might go out maybe into that mountain. It, it all depends on uh, distance, time that I have to play, and ambition. <laughs> I don't know why um, I couldn't place the rebar frames out from here and it ended up collapsing. I don't know why I did that. It could have been because it was just one level upgrade uh, and it wasn't able to hold it. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, that, that happened. In the meantime, um, we are going to... Oh, let's see, we can scrap these, I guess. Well, no, I'll hold on to that for now. Um, I think what I'll do is make iron bars. And we need, uh, let's see, there's five per wall, so that's 20. Uh, okay, so let's see. Kicks in the OCD. Has to be a round number. <laughs> um. No, you get over there. Yeah, you like that. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and iron bars. Where is it? Uh, there we go, iron bars. So we need 20 of them, I believe. So we will start from there.
right. Now one thing we're going to have to do, and it's not really essential to the construction of the base, um, is on the outside, uh, we're going to have to have an overhang. And the reason for this is uh, spider zombies. Uh, if you have a straight up and down wall, they can climb up that lickety split. But when it comes to something with an overhang, they can only go as high as that overhang and then they just stop. So instead of just having a perfect square box, having it shaped sort of like a mushroom will uh, keep them from climbing on the roof and gaining entry. Hopefully. So, got that to consider too. Plus, I'm going to. Oh shit, what happened there? Oop. That. I thought that set it in right. I totally missed that. And it sucks. Daddy, no like. make another iron bar. Poopy. Of course it makes four of them because it can't do the the singular thing. Ah, it's a pain in the ass. Are we good, bro? Alright. All right, let's see. Uh, mm, gonna need to get some more wood soon. All right, so get this part done. We'll put in another ladder, and we will have the basics of the base done. I mean, there's always gonna be the fine touches, and that will come in due time. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some more mining and get the forges fired up and r rolling out the steel because the steel fortress must be made must be reinforced yeah saber blade like And I'm out of wood. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just get these all slopped in here. And I don't need too much more wood to get that going, but... It's more wood than I have on me at present, so I'll, let's uh, get some wood frames down here. Get the axe out, and I will do the rest of this off camera, so as to not to bore you to death. But yeah, all we really have to do now is um, uh, get these mudded in, or er, framed up and mudded in. Uh, we got to put in a ceiling. And, of course, have to have a, a hole through the middle. Um, basically, it's just going to be a room just like this. Except it'll have you know, a shooting window through, through that side, or through all the sides. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's 
not too fancy or flashy. It gets the job done. It'll keep your butt safe. This is basically what my uh, my first base uh, was like when I first started playing se uh, Seven Days to Die. This is what it essentially looked like. It didn't have the steel, of course, um, and it was only, I think, two blocks high, so I kept hitting my head when I was going up the ladder or, and breaking my leg and all that crazy bullshit. But, uh, but yeah, I had, had it like this, and uh, worked pretty fine for me. And it was in the middle of the lake, which helped out a great deal. This here, we're just going to make do without, but... Yeah, so we'll, uh... Make a way out of here. Oh, yeah, that's what it's gonna look like on the outside. Kinda. <laughs> and, uh, let's make this so we can get up in here again. And perfect. Kinda. So yeah, it'll have at least a one block overhang um, over the edge. I might even go two. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, and then I'll just keep these spider zombies down. It, it might even keep the uh, gore blocks from accumulating to the point where they can climb over the top. At least up close to the base. Um, yeah, I, I might even, what I might even do is put out another row. Like, just just a row on the on this level. Sticking out. As sort of a uh, barrier or a buffer so that it gives you just a little bit more range uh, so that they can't hit you through the bars like they can't, you know how they can hit you through doors or, or walls sometimes uh, just to give you that, that little extra arms reach distance on them so I might put that on there too I might just go two blocks um, you know here and here that'll keep the gore blocks from accumulating like right on top of my wall which would obscure the vision and and all that also um, you know including with the overhang uh, it'll keep the gore box in uh, in, in check uh, also when I have the sniper tower put up in here uh, it'll keep me from having to peek into my own structure like you know when you're on top of the wall and you're kinda like on a slate overhang and they're like tucked underneath and you can't really get them when you're looking straight down you have to kind of step back and angle in on them uh, it'll prevent that so hopefully fingers crossed that works out so yeah you guys get the idea of what I'm going for and as always my plans may or may not change you know you just kinda have to adapt to whatever circumstances come up so anyways uh, I hope you like this video if you if you did, uh, please click the like button. If you did not, pl click the dislike button. But at least give me a a polite or, or nice description as to why you didn't like the video. And, you know, if I feel it's worthy, I will um, take your suggestions, your, your constructive criticisms to heart. Um, if it's malicious and nasty, just put it on someone else's video. If you're... <laughs> If you're bored, click the dislike button, then the like button. They'll cancel each other out. and something to do. Uh, please share my videos uh, with your friends and family and, and other gamers on whatever social media services you use. Thank you so, so much for watching, and see you later. Twitch. Twitch.